All right, guys, today I got an excellent in-store update for you guys. But first of all, Lee Otto stole some tech from Neo. We got to go check that out, all right? Guys, remember the ET9's revolutionary active suspension where it's able to vibrate and adjust the height of the car to account for bumps and all that kind of stuff? Very, very cool. Lee Otto just stole it, all right? Have a look. Oh yeah! So they got their own active suspension, guys. Holy crap. It's a free OTA, guys. Free OTA. You get that function for free. But who does it better? Neo's ET9 or the Lee Auto L9? Who does it better? So guys, here I am in the store. You can tell there's quite some people on the first floor as well. And then these cars, you know, uh, last month, there used to be a sticker here that says this car has been sold. But now, you know, these cars are all brand new. These are new cars, all right? And just to prove that they are indeed new cars, I'm gonna go inside one and then show you. All right, so here, let's take a look. This car, one day old, one day old. Wow, absolutely spectacular, one day old, guys. Lots of people checking out the cars, guys. Fantastic. EC7, people love this car. Just look at the amount of people, and it's very bustling. Even, even though it's a oh, Thursday afternoon, uh, Thursday evening, there's lots of people walking around outside, lots of people eating food here. Very, very nice. Take a look at this beautiful EC6. This car is also one day old, guys. Look at that, one day old. Damn, just one day, man. Absolutely nuts, guys. Wow. So guys, this is the second floor of the new house. It's a Thursday evening, 8 p.m. So not too many people, as you can tell. There are some kids upstairs. My son's over here watching some cartoon. So I learned some quite incredible things from the sales rep, all right? So first of all, I asked him, are sales going to be just as strong in July? And of course, he said, yes. He said, yes, of course. And what's very interesting is that apparently at the start of every month, Neil releases a bunch of cars to be inventory cars, to be showroom cars. So the cars downstairs, they were actually, last month, they were mostly sold out, all right? The, the, the cars in the stores, they were all accounted for. So beginning of this month, Neil had new cars into the store. Some of the cars that I saw downstairs were actually like one day old. So they were like brand new cars basically. And he said that at the start of every month, there's inventory cars and lots of people want these inventory cars. So straight off the bat, at the beginning of the month, you get good amount of sales just from these inventory cars being released, all right? And then also I, I asked him, you know, uh, this is very interesting. I asked him, does Anvil, do you think Anvil has an impact on uh, Neil? And the dude, by the way, the dude wa watched my videos before, uh, because I also make videos in Chinese, trying to promote Neil, trying to get sales and stuff. And he's, he's seen my video, so he knows who I am. And he said, honestly speaking, yes. All right, he said that, uh, well, I, I said 900 volt, right? And he said, well, not just that, not just 900 volt, but also horizontal screens, LiDAR, and dual motor, all right? Uh, especially LiDAR and dual motor, some of those things customers don't actually need, all right? Some customers don't really need LiDAR. Some customers don't really want dual motor, which is very interesting. And uh, he says he definitely believes that Envo will have an impact on Neo sales going forward. That's pretty much guaranteed from his perspective, okay? So essentially, in his opinion, all right, and what he's seen in terms of the orders coming in, July is also gonna be a fantastic month in terms of deliveries, probably another 20,000 plus delivery month going forward. So we can expect very good momentum going forward, all right? Now, one very interesting thing is that today, provisional EU tariffs kicked in, so Neil has to pay 
a whole lot of extra tariff, uh, around 31%. That 31% is uh, 21%, 20.8% plus an additional 10% import tax. So that makes it 31% tariff off every single car that Neil sends to Germany or sends to Europe, which is quite a lot. But you got to understand that Neil actually doesn't sell a whole lot in Europe. And the whole point of selling in Europe is more for marketing. All right. The achievements that Neil is able to achieve to get in Europe, the Golden Steering Wheel Award, and then on top of that, the five star EU NCAP ratings, those are actually served as a fantastic marketing weapon for Neil here in China. All right. When customers come to their cars, to the stores and compare with other guys. All right. Well, they just straight up give them that poker card. Hey, we got EU NCAP, five star NCAP safety rating. What about the other guy? All right, I'm not saying the other guys are unsafe, but you got to take a look, right? Take a look at the situation, right? They got active ride suspension, but is it actually active ride suspension? What's going on, all right? So from a shareholder's perspective, you know, don't expect Neil to sell a whole lot in Europe. Don't expect Neil to earn, earn money in Europe. It's more for marketing, all right? And, you know, most people will probably go with Bass or maybe even a subscription to get the car. Subscription will be definitely the best way to get the car. And afterwards, you know, these provisional tariffs are going to last for four months. Afterwards, the, they might have permanent tariffs or they might adjust it. Who knows? But uh, what, we'll have to see what goes, what happens. But Neo's keeping the current prices, which is very nice. But uh, afterwards, Neo might have to write, raise prices or do certain adjustments like that. But understand the whole point of Europe, selling Europe is excellent marketing for more sales here in China, all right? Also here, one of my subscriber, you guys just came back from ET7 test drive in Europe and in his opinion, the car is too expensive in Europe and a lot of the functions and features that you can do here in China are not available there, like battery upgrades, etc. And also the bass price is just a little bit too expensive and they still have to pay very high insurance. So if bass would decrease the insurance, it would be a very good car. But in general, you can see that, uh, you know, if with these tariffs, they could potentially have to hike prices even more, make the car even more expensive. So this is just quite unfeasible, you know, and don't expect Neo to sell too many cars in Europe. Envo would be much better seller in my opinion when it comes to Europe. And Neo really needs to bring some of these features that they have here in China over to Europe. And that's really gonna help sales going forward.